Hi everyone, before we get into fishing this creek behind me here today, I want to show you a couple of accessories, a couple of fun, interesting, beautiful, kind of expensive Tankara accessories I'm going to be fishing with today. These were sent to me by Roman from Sap and Bark, that's the company, and uh, these are called Ikari, I-K-A-R-I. These are combination line spools and fly boxes. I've got one around my neck here and I've got one on my rod here. Let's start off with the one around my neck. This is the larger of the two that he sells. This retails for, I believe, around $140 in this configuration, or $130, somewhere around there. Basically, it's a wooden spool with a, a lanyard on it with a cord around it. It's got a cord lock here. Loosen that up and you can remove the lid of the spool, the lid of the fly box here. I've got probably 20 flies in here right now. There are four compartments. There are little magnets in there that hold the flies in place. Cool design. You can also slide on some tippet here on the, the bottom side of the spool and then snug it up by pulling the, the draw cord tight. So you have this nice little bundle. I have one level line on here now. It can fit two lines and then you can fit, you know, you could fit 20 different tippet spools on here if you wanted to. And then you can throw this in your pack or put it over your neck like what I'm going to be doing today or attach it to your, you know, your uh, belt loop on your pants with a carabiner or something. A few different ways to carry it. Or one really interesting and unique thing about these is that they can attach to your rod itself. Let me show you that with the smaller one that I have here. So this one runs about 50 or $60. I'll put links to all of these in the video description. It attaches to the rod and then just twists off. Really cool design. It has these little magnets in the bottom that attach it to the magnets here. This little thing, this little piece of wood here, it attaches to your rod with a couple of zip ties. And then the spool here, just mates to it. There's, there's a little, a couple little notches in the spool and then you twist it to lock it in place by aligning the magnets up. Pretty cool design. Beautiful piece of, uh, of engineering here. Uh, this one has an acrylic clear see-through top on it. This one is all wood. The price varies a little bit depending on which one you want, but generally these start at about $50, the small ones, and then the big ones go up to $140. That's expensive. That is the price of a, of a Japanese Tenkara rod. So for example, you could get a new Nissan Pro Square rod for about the same price. Or of course, there are lots of um, American brands, American Tenkara rod companies that sell rods for less than $140. And so it's not a cheap thing. These were given to me for free to review and to spread the word about, and so I'm, I'm appreciative of that. The thing is, I'm not really the target angler for these products. I don't care for this kind of all-in-one setup. Um, I don't need to fish with just my rod and what's on my rod. I always fish with a backpack. I can carry all the lines, all the flies, all the tippet, uh, and everything that I need in my backpack. And if you combine the tippet spool and the little plastic uh, fly case that I use and that I sell on flytyingyarn.com, um, and then combine that with the plastic line cards that I use. I mean, it's lighter and more compact than this. And so I'm not really the kind of person who wants it all in one thing. Like I don't just hit the, hit the stream with my rod and like one other thing. Like I said, I always have a backpack with water and camera gear and a jacket and food and a first aid kit and an emergency kit in it. Like I always have that stuff with me. So having it in one compact package like this, doesn't really do it for me but it's cool like it's it's a neat thing it's beautiful it's beautifully made and i know that some people do want to have that all-in-one setup here and again it's it's just cool like it's it's a beautiful object beautifully made i personally wouldn't have spent 140 dollars on this or 50 dollars on the smaller one just because this isn't for how i fish but if it is for how you fish if it works for how you fish then and these are cool little things. And the big one also has the option of, of being attached to your, to your rod here. It comes with this little piece. Or maybe it's extra. Maybe it costs like $10 or $20 extra. I don't remember. 
but it's an option if you want to, to do that. But anyway, in the spirit of, of I guess, minimalism, uh, I'm gonna fish with just this today. I'm not gonna fish with a backpack. I have my, my net attached to, to my, my belt here. Um, usually my net is attached to my backpack, that's how I prefer to do it, but I've attached it to my, uh, to my belt on my hip here. Um, I'm not gonna fish with this rod, I'm gonna fish with a different rod, and I'm gonna carry this around my neck, so I'm not gonna have it uh, stored on the rod or anything like that. But again, thanks to Ramon for sending these to me. Uh, they're cool, I'm not gonna use them a ton, but uh, if you guys wanna check them out, go to sapandbark.com, I think. Now it's time to fish this creek here. This is a really unique and beautiful creek. You've seen me fish it before in multiple videos. It's one of the only creeks around here that is fishable this time of year when most of the mountains are still socked in with snow. I'm gonna be fishing with the Tanuki XL1 rod. This is a 13 foot rod or 13 feet, three inches. I like this rod, I haven't fished it enough so I wanted to fish it today. I'm gonna to have a 13 foot level line on it and Whatever fly is already on the line, I don't know which one it is, but as soon as I rig up, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll tell you what it is. Okay, let me unspool the line here from the Ikari. Uh, so the fly on here is what I call black and gold Kabari. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. Again, that's what's already on this line, so that's what I'm gonna start fishing with. If I lose it, I will move to something else. I'll put a link in the description to that fly if you wanna learn more about it. Um, and also, I recently added another 20 plus colors of yarn to flytyingyarn.com. All right, I'm ready to fish. So as I said, I have fished this creek before. It's a beautiful little creek. It has quite a few fish in it. They're not big, they're pretty small. Mostly rainbow trout, but also some brook trout. It's windy. It's windy enough to be slightly annoying. So I've got that to contend with, but otherwise it's beautiful weather today. It's a beautiful spring day. This is definitely one of those creeks where it, it's, it's good to be stealthy. It pays to be stealthy because it is so shallow and so clear and it's such a bright day today. But, oh, but I am a lazy angler. And so I don't try to be too stealthy most of the time. Got a nice little rainbow trout here in the first minute of fishing. Pretty little fish, about seven inches long. See ya. Feels good to catch a fish nice and early on. I'm not gonna fish for too, too long here. Maybe half an hour, maybe an hour, we'll see. Oh, that wind is right right in my face. Got two little branches of this stream coming together here. I've never fished either one. I've never fished this part of this stream. I think I'll stick with the right here. Got one. Oh, it came off. Fish on. Yes. And that is a brook trout. Nice, two fish, two species. It's a five or six incher. Got one. Oh, good size. Come on, stay on. Stay with me, here we go. Good little fighter. Biggest fish yet. Very nice. Got 
got one. Whoa. Come on. There it is. I wasn't super paying attention for that one. So it came as kind of a surprise. Another rainbow trout, six or seven inches. Come on. There it goes. Oh. That was weird. <laughs> I was casting over here and I was letting the fly drift away back. I was looking this way and I was about to recast. And when I was about to recast, I felt a fish on. There I was. Nice little rainbow trout. Got one. And landed. Oh, and it's a brook trout. What is that, the second brook trout of the day? And my rod is floating away. See ya. I think that'll do it for me here. That's half a dozen fish in about 45 minutes. Four rainbow trout, two brook trout. I'm happy, it feels good to be fishing again. I haven't been fishing much over the winter. Most of the videos you've been seeing were from the fall and so it's nice to get back out again and be catching fish. As for the Ikari, you know they, they really just solve problems that I don't have. I don't need one of these things. It doesn't really mesh with the way that I fish but if they work with the way that you fish go for it. They're, they're beautiful, they're well made, they're like little pieces of art really that also happen to be functional Tenkara accessories. So if that appeals to you go check them out. I'll put a link to them in the video description and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. Of course, I'll see you next week in the next Tenkara Addict video.